Hello, hello. It is Thursday. We're almost through the week. We need a drink. And I was looking around. I, I went and restocked, so I have some cool, like, stuff to work with. But for tonight, I just want to do um, a very simple, easy drink that you probably have. You probably have vodka and grapefruit juice, I'm assuming. If you don't, get some. Uh, it is called a Greyhound. Simple, simple, simple. There are a couple of variations, and one of them is with salt, which is normally called a salty dog. So you salt your rim like a margarita. And I'm doing something I like to do, which is not the whole rim. I do a little portion with salt. This is really good for margaritas too, because Sometimes you just don't want that much salt. So if you ever want to do this, just, you know, use your little lime, rim it, stick it in your salt, only on that portion, a little bit of salt. Since it's not a full salty dog and it's not a greyhound, we have renamed it. And this is not my idea. This was courtesy of my, my housemate. Um, it is called the Whippet. So we're going to make a Whippet. We're going to whip it good because I keep saying that with everything I do because I also whipped things earlier. So we're going to fill this with ice. I did the little ball jar because I think they're cute. For me, a juice drink should be in a highball, so make sure and do a taller glass. I don't like short juice drinks. They bother me. Short drinks can be for cola mixers, things like that. Okay, you want it nice and cold. This is how simple this is. It's literally just vodka and grapefruit juice. So we're gonna just pour one, two, three. Grapefruit is a strong juice, so you can pour it kind of heavy if you want. It'll go to your head, but it'll also taste a little better. And then, so I bought regular grapefruit juice. This is what the drink should be. If you like sweeter, I'm going to do, I'm going to actually add simple syrup to this because I do like sweeter. Um, the other thing you can do is buy ruby red grapefruit. Sweeter, tastes good. It'll work the same. But the classic is supposed to be just plain old grapefruit juice. And if you have grapefruits, you can squeeze them. So there's that. Uh, if you add to this cranberry, like half grapefruit, half cranberry. I believe it's called a sea breeze and that's a really tasty drink too. So you can do that. Um, there's all kinds of, there's so many variations with grapefruit. So go ahead and enjoy it. Have fun. Um, so what I'm going to do, I always do the two spoonfuls because I think it's just about right. Just put them on top. I'm going to mix it in with my straw. This is not a shaken drink. You can shake it if you want. No need. You can just stir. Because it's just one liquor, one juice. One love. Okay. Perfect. It's totally refreshing, classic. And as we warm up, I think it's a good thing to have. And, you know, grapefruit juice is good. Unless you have, apparently, unless you have heart medication, so don't drink it if you have that. Um, but that is your whip it. If you rim it totally, call it a salty dog, which is fun. So I'm going to get to some boozy questions here, which my next person is, let's see. Uh, my next person is my friend Drake, who is probably one of the smarter people on the planet and asks way too in-depth questions. He asked if I prefer to make my own, I can't pronounce it, let's say falernum, 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 um, falernum is what it says for pronunciation. Uh, it looks like it is a simple syrup, which is from the Caribbean. Caribbean? 
uh, and it is best known for use in tropical drinks. So all those little like tiki drinks and things I was making, I guess you can use this in it. So it's simple syrup with ginger, lime, and almond, and often has cloves or allspice. So Drake, um, yes, I, I make my own falernum. So I don't, but what I think this should lead us to is a discussion about simple syrup. Because you have time right now, and you might have some alcohols that you don't necessarily like. You think they're too bitter. Uh, gin is one that people don't usually love. Um, whiskey, things like that. That if you don't love the flavor, you're not going to drink it, and it kind of sits around. The thing that can fix that is a good simple syrup. So we already talked about making a simple syrup. It's a cup of sugar, a cup of water. You boil it, um, you know, not too long because it'll caramelize, but you boil it, then you pour it into a container that you want. <laughs> By the way, if you pour it, in, my mom always used to make these and she'd pour it into like a little glass dish and put like a, a little delicate, you know, plastic over it. <laughs> And now I know why, because I poured it into this and sealed it and sugar, you know, is sticky. It, it totally was impossible to open. So just be careful with what you pour it into. If you're going to do a screw top, just know that it's probably going to stick and you'll have to like pry it open, but you can always like run warm water over it and it'll open again. So you make your basic simple syrup, right? Which is easy. In this, you can put anything so like how drake is asking if i make my own i think i may because it sounds fantastic and all you need to do let's say you have allspice i bet we all have like the little thing of allspice for you know pumpkin pie or whatever it is you use it for um you can put that like put a little half teaspoon into your simple syrup stir it seal it you now have allspice infused simple syrup so infusing things is a great way to make like your simple syrup into really interesting, cool stuff. I'm gonna get to one of my friends later in this post has a, she has a lavender simple syrup, which I'm obsessed with and I can't wait to get to that one. But I could make that at home if I wanted to. Um, you can do, you know, dandelion and be like weird and froofy. You can do, I'm trying to think of different things because obviously cinnamon sticks, cloves, um, you can do fruit, of course, but really any, any kind of weird flavor. I did a thyme, was it thyme? No, I did sage. I did a sage simple syrup once that was actually fantastic. You'd think it tastes like Thanksgiving and it kind of did, but I mixed it with gin and some other things and it was awesome. So go crazy with your simple syrup, make weird flavors, and then you can add little spoonfuls to whatever you're drinking and just change the whole flavor profile. It's really cool. I think that's something that can really help, especially when you don't have like a lot of access to the store or different, different types of things. It really does help with things like whiskey and gin because they're, they're harsh <laughs> and they have a flavor that can be enhanced by sugar. And then this makes like a cool sugar thing for you to do. And you can use it in all kinds of stuff. You can put it in your tea. You can put it in anything. It's kind of neat. Vanilla. Do vanilla simple syrup, of course. So that's my thought for today. Um, Drake actually asked about a corn and oil. It's a corn and oil. Apparently called so because it looks like corn and oil <laughs> in the drink. It's like two different colors. So I was looking at it. It is the... Falernum simple syrup really does sound good though. Like lime, ginger, almond I would leave out, but allspice, lime, ginger, and allspice sounds cool. And you could use that, you could use that in a vodka, like in a mule. That would be really good too. Um, and so this corn and oil looks like it's just lime juice, black strap rum, which I think that's just dark, the dark rum that I have. Um, and that's it. And then you just pour it over a bunch of ice and it looks looks tasty. So if you want to make that drink and you have some dark rum, 
personally, I like the dark and stormy better, but that corn and oil looks pretty tasty. So you can try that out. Um, my next question was on, no, that's Zan and Zan wants a Manhattan. So Zan, I'm going to have to make you a Manhattan separately because that's not today, but Manhattans are lovely. It's funny. It's one of the drinks that no one ever asked me to make at the bar. So I have to work on that one separately. Um, so that's it. So yeah, work on your simple syrup. It'll give you something to do if you're not doing anything. I'm sure everyone's busy. Um, I hope you're all hanging in there and doing well. I am. I'm doing okay. Because I have this drink. So, um, yeah. So that's that. Make yourself a salty dog or a whippet or a greyhound or a sea breeze or however you want to make this. And enjoy yourself because it's almost the weekend. And I know we don't know what that means anymore, but we're almost there. We're going to make it. Okay? I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.